Hi everyone, welcome to Not Defining. My name is Mark and today I'm just going to be giving you a few impressions about what it's like to be a bisexual man in this world. I'm going to be telling you what it's like to be me, some of the things I come up against and some little tips so that we can all feel really, really great in our identity. So watch this video. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining us. Not Defining is a place where we delve into sexuality, gender and identity so that you can feel your most confident however you define. So today I'm just going to be talking about being a bi guy. A lot of the time we don't see many bisexual people around and even less bisexual men. So the first thing to say about bisexual people is we are such a huge label. Actually, bisexuality is the biggest label. It's over 50% of the LGBT community. And we are so, so, so varied. There are people there who are like 50-50 men and women. Like I get out of bed in the morning and I could just get with a guy or get with a girl or get with anyone. There are those people. There are people who are like really mostly straight, but they're like a little bit bi-curious or they've got like a little bit of attraction here and there, but it's very, very small. You've got people who are mostly gay. Maybe they've got a same sex partner. Maybe they really identify as gay, but they also identify as having the capacity for more. And that's totally valid as well. And there are bi-romantic people. So there are people who like experience romantic attraction, but not sexual attraction to the same sex. And of course, we've got the whole non-monosexual spectrum. So we've got pansexual people, people who really kind of feel attraction regardless of gender. We've got queer people, people who just kind of generally define as something other than cis-heterosexual. We've got questioning people, fluid people. There are lots of different labels like omnisexual, polysexual, abrosexual. We are so diverse and it's really what makes it wonderful being bi, bi plus, multisexual, m-spec, whatever you want to call it. Basically not hetero and not gay. We're a huge, huge, huge community. And if you are anywhere on that scale, then it's a wonderful place to be. The second thing, a bit more of a negative, is being bisexual for me, I'm constantly challenged by people. People are always questioning, are you really bi? Are you really gay? Are you really straight? You've got bi women. Often people will say, oh, well, you're really straight and you're going to go off and marry a man and whatever. You know, you're not queer enough. You got by men who are told that we're just gay and kidding ourselves. So people will question you. And also that questioning will also happen on the inside as well. Many, many bi people will have had a very long period of questioning more than maybe gay or lesbian people because our orientation is just so much more complex. So there's all of that questioning and being bi for me is really about finding stability within a state of fluid flux. The other thing about being bi is it's really hard to be visible. So most people will assume your sexuality based on the gender of your partner. So if I'm a guy and I've got a female partner, people say, oh, they're straight. But actually what they don't know is one of the partners could be bi or both of the partners could be bi. Similarly, if I was to have a male partner, people would say, oh, it's a gay couple. So there's no outward projection of being bi, that's the thing. And so that's why I love to wear this t-shirt. I love to have this flag because these are the bi colors. You've got navy, purple, and kind of fuchsia. Bi visibility is so important because we never actually get to show ourselves. And that's why 
even though there's so many of us, we are actually the least represented in LGBT spaces. So, can be difficult not to get erased. Another thing about being bi, which I just really love, is that it really challenges you to see the beauty in all people. Bi or pansexual or mspec is an orientation that exists beyond gender. So I can see beauty in women, so much beauty, but I can also see beauty in men. You know, I can see people's attractive traits. I can see the, the gorgeousness of femininity and the gorgeousness of masculinity and all the different types of femininities and masculinities as well and different people's bodies and like how they are and the similarities between them and the differences between them and I really just get to appreciate all human beings it's such a lovely thing to have so that's what I would say bisexual people we have a great capacity to appreciate everyone and it's really nice the other thing is that it also gives me a really good kind of broad view of my own gender um, I kind of identify as a cis man he and him but I also really kind of accept that gender is not a binary and you know I could identify as non-binary um, really it's just an acceptance that people are people and we don't have to fit into one box you know gay straight man woman this or that it's just not like that i change quite a lot i'm quite fluid i identify as fluid questioning by plus and you know when you change like that you really start to see the different facets of sexuality and bodies and sex and love and affection and intimacy and lust and desire and all the rest of it and it's part of the reason why I created this channel this channel if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button it helps us out loads we're really a place where we explore that and being a bisexual person has enabled me to understand sexuality and how it works so if you want to see more please check out my other videos. I always respond to comments, so please write a comment and I will get straight back to you. The other thing about being bisexual is that relationships can be pretty hard, um, whether it's straight people or gay people, oftentimes people are a bit nervous to date you because they think, oh, you're gonna run away with like someone of the other gender to what they are. Even if your partner accepts you, you can also suffer from internalized biophobia where you know you don't feel good enough i've really not felt good enough as a man because you're told that a man needs to be straight otherwise he's gay people will invalidate you and that can kind of get inside and so keeping good mental health as a bisexual person is really really important bi people have some of the highest rates of suicide, depression, anxiety, substance abuse and uh, self-harm of everyone in the LGBT community, trans, trans and ace people as well, uh, but bi people certainly more than gay or lesbian people, uh, we suffer a lot and it's often because just people don't understand us and they invalidate us and we get to feel really bad about ourselves. So if you are bi, please take care of your mental health. I've got loads of videos on the subject, so check them out. And the final thing is that the bi community is such a fun community. Like, we're a little bit underrepresented, but like I said, we're so broad. And when you connect with other bi people, it's so wonderful. I wear a little badge or like, you see the flag or you say something about being bi. And you connect with someone else it's so wonderful because we're so invisible when you connect with that person they really appreciate it and honestly there's a huge community out there not defining is proudly part of the bi community so if you want to come on board i will welcome you please hit the subscribe button and check us out on instagram twitter where are we else TikTok. um and we have a podcast called the queer spectrum podcast with two other bisexual people Come and be part of our community because it's a great, great community. Anyway, 
I just wanted to share with you a few things about being a bi guy. What are your experiences? Please write them in the comments. I love speaking to other bi people. And if you have any questions about bisexuality, then pop them in the comments as well. Anyway, thanks for listening and have a great day. Bye for now.